Because if you actually look at eggs during the process of um, early, uh, during the process when this gradient is being established, in a simple sense, if you, the way we've talked about it before, we've had a localized RNA which is translated into a protein and you have diffusion of this molecule through what you would think of as a stable cytoplasm such that diffusion could establish a stable gradient. If you actually look though at embryos during the process when this bicoid gradient is being established. And you look at the, the cytoplasm, we're looking here at an early cleavage division where nuclei, in fact, are uh, the, the, uh, in embryos where, uh, that carry a GFP histone, so we'll be able to eventually to see the nuclei, but you'll also see some GFP histone in the cytoplasm of these syncytial embryos. You can see the nuclei migrating out to the surface, and you can see this pattern of division of the individual nuclei that I talked about in the first lecture that give rise, these synchronous divisions that give rise to uh, early embryonic, uh, give rise to the, the, the syncytial blastoderm. But one of the things that you can also see, and I'll point this out to you in the neck, uh, we watch the movie one more time, is that associated with these nuclear replications are massive movements of the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm moves forward and moves back in the swishing kind of turbulent uh, patterns that uh, appear to have no overall directionality. We're not going to move molecules in any particular direction, but will, we believe, contribute, uh, uh, if bicoid is being is associated with the cytoplasm, will contribute to the movement of bicoid in a non-brown, in non-diffusion sense, but in a, uh, a non-directed sense that would be essentially equivalent to a, a random walk, uh, the random walks that are produced by diffusion. And so what we're beginning to think now is that the bicoid gradient that arises in the egg does not ri arise necessarily from directly from diffusion or from the di uh, diffusive movements of bicoid molecules per se, but is actually established by random movements in the cytoplasm.